வெல்கம் டு அவர் சேனல் ஸ்டூடெண்ட் ஸ்டேஷன் இது வரைக்கும் நம்ம சேனலில் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பண்ணாதவங்க ப்ளீஸ் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பண்ணுங்கள் இந்த வீடியோவில் நைன்த் ஸ்டாண்டர்ட் சோஷியல் சயின்ஸ் எக்கனாமிக்ஸ் யூனிட் ஒன் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்டிங் டெவலப்மெண்ட் பெர்ஸ்பெக்டிவ்ஸ் மெஷர்மெண்ட் அண்ட் சஸ்டெயினபிலிட்டி லெசனோட புக் பேக் எக்ஸசைஸ் பார்க்கலாம் டர்ன் டு த பேஜ் டூ நைன்டி ரொம்ப நம்பர் ஒன் சூஸ் த கரெக்ட் ஆன்சர் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் அசர்ஷன் டெவலப்மெண்ட் இன்க்ரீஸஸ் த குவாலிட்டி ஆஃப் லைஃப் ரீசன் people will have higher incomes better education better health and nutrition less poverty the answer is a option both assertion and reason are true and reason explains assertion a option is the right answer second one the term human resources refers to answer is d option collective abilities of people is the answer third one for comparing development between countries their dash is considered to be one of the most important attributes answer is b option income is the answer fourth one dash is considered a true measure of national income answer is c option nnp fifth one the dash income is also called per capita income answer is a option average sixth one which one of the following country is not a g8 country answer is d option india seventh one which one of the following country is not a member of sarc s a a r c so answer is c option china eighth one assertion the net na- national product that is nnp is considered as a true measure of national output reason it is also known as national income the answer for this question is a A option both assertion and reason are true and reason explains assertion A option is the right answer ninth question assertion human resources is necessary for the progress of any country reason investment in education and health of people can result in a high rate of returns in the future for a country for this answer is A option both assertion and reason are true and R explains A is the answer A option tenth one the human development index hdi does not take into account the following dimension in its calculation the answer is a option gender eleventh one among the following states which state have the literacy rate 2011 higher than national average the answer is c option tamil nadu twelfth sex ratio means d option is the answer the number of females per thousand males thirteenth intergenerational equality is ensured under the process of c option sustainable development turn to the page 292 14th one find the odd one a uh, solar energy b wind energy c paper d natural gas answer is c option paper 15th one dash is the state with highest installed solar capacity in india answer op- option a tamil nadu is the answer 16th dash resources or those which will get exhausted after years of use answer is c option non renewable 17th thermal pla- uh, thermal plant emits large quantity of dash which pollutes the environment the answer is d option carbon dioxide moving to roman number 2 fill in the blanks first one economic progress of any country is known as economic development second the headquarters of hrd ministry is in new delhi third one the state having the highest literacy rate in india is kerala fourth human development report of the world prepared and released by undp ground water fifth one ground water is an example of a renewable resource answer is renewable sixth one the book and an uncertain glory was written by professor amartya sen moving to roman number 3 match the following first one development part of daily life second human resource education third solar energy renewable resources fourth 1972 wildlife protection act is the answer moving to roman number 4 give short answers first one what do you mean by development page number 285 turn to the page 285 what is mean by development see under the introduction you have to start from the word development is used widely it refers to the progress of a particular field or up to development fifth line la development varaikku roman number fourth la first one answer second one what are the indicators of development page number 286 indicators of development see under the topic indicators of economic development you have to start from the, the major indicators to measure the na- level of economic development or 
नेट नेशनल प्राडक्ट पर कैपिटा इनकम पर्चेसिंग पवर पारिटी अंड ह्यूमन डेवलपमेंट इंडेक्स रोम नंबर फोर्थ सेकंड वन आंसर दीस फाइव लाइन देन थर्ड वन third why nnp is not considered as an useful measure to compare a country's development with other countries page number 286 286 la net idla vande for uh, under the topic net national product la second paragraph for measuring la the start panni important factors varaiku first point then the net national product la rendu output varaiku second point first you have to write these three lines then these three lines after that you have to continue in the question so nnp is not considered as an useful measure to compare com uh, countries development with other countries fourth one why human resources is considered as the foremost resource of any country page number 287 under the topic human development second paragraph human resource development la start panikonga then sixth line up to future for a country room number 4th la fourth one answer first one expand the following first one triple p and second hti page number 286 and 287 286 la purchasing power parity room number 5th la first one oda expansion then second one vandu human development index hdi oda expansion room number 5th la second one 6th one expand the following nnp and pci page number 286 nnp net national product this is fifth fourth room letter la sixth la first one nnp then sorry nnp and pci na no? 286 per capita income see both the nnp fourth row letter sixth one answer net national product per capita income is the answer expansion of pci and nnp seventh question what is solar power page number 289 solar power under the topic solar power in india you has to start from solar power is the cons- conversion of energy then seventh uh, elect up to electricity roman number fourth la seventh one answer solar power is the conversion la then uh, sixth line electricity verko moving to roman number 5 answer in detail first one discuss the policies for sustainable development page number 287 and 288 first one discuss the policies for sustainable development page number 287 and 288 287 room number 5 under the 287 to achieve real sustainability adha lende start pannikonga in the box do you know adu kida rendu these two paragraph turn to the page 288 then under the topic policies for sustainable development use of non conventional sources of energy these two points and then uh, right side up to pollute the environment fifth row letter first one answer from this to here then before that these two paragraphs second one describe in detail about environmental policies in india page number 289 environmental policies in india under the topic environmental policies in india start from environmental policies in india have been up to more equality or of opportunity last line poverty and more equality of opportunity fifth row letter second one answer this whole paragraph 1 2 3 4 5 paragraphs third one differentiate between renewable and non renewable uh, non renewable resources page number 288 this differentiation renewable and non renewable resources fifth row letter third one answer fourth one mention any five environmental acts and their action page number 289 so in this you have to write any five act and their action fifth row letter fourth one answer they have given six you have to write any five act and their actions so this lesson over இந்த வீடியோ உங்களுக்கு யூஸ்ஃபுல்லாக இருந்தால் லைக் பண்ணுங்கள் ஷேர் பண்ணுங்கள் மறக்காமல் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பண்ணுங்கள் தேங்க்யூ ஃ